I'm back to finish what I started in Paper Mario Color Splash. Watch as I fill the colorless void and save all the paint stars. Hope you enjoy my playthrough and have the most incredible day possible. I'm pretty sure we can't go here. At least not right now. So I'm going to at least, you know, check it out. Because it's one of the only levels that we have unlocked and available right now. My name is Brian, a.k.a. Kenny, the owner of a very awesome Kirby statue. I want to draw attention to that. You can't really see it, you know, as shiny during the day here. But it does shine, and it's beautiful. Oh, hello. It smells like red paint, way stronger than the red mini paint stars that led us here. So it must be in the Crimson Tower of all places. And uh, we clearly need to fill in the spots for the three keys, those three gentlemen over there. It's supposed to be a truly remarkable bridge. Any bridge builder worth their salt has studied it. Well, while I was trying to open this gate, some guy snuck up uh, with a straw. Yep, there you go. You're not the only one that that's happened to, buddy. Wait, if you came all the way here from Port Prisma just to see a bridge, are you some sort of bridge expert? Oh, uh, yes. You are the bridge expert. There we go. What? This is an emergency. I need to go stare at a bridge. Thanks, buddy. So clearly, yeah, we need the three uh, spots here. The blue, the yellow, and the red. We do have the location of the yellow or the red. So we got to find uh, the other two. So cool. I was correct in this being the only area that uh, we can get to right now. And then also, we got to go back to Port Prisma now that the bridge is going to be repaired. So there's going to be a little bit of jumping around here. I'm going to go find our friend in red, the superhero, first. And I'll just skip around and cut around until I make progress, I guess. Well, I got a nice uh, hammer upgrade there. Not that I've needed it, but okay. I wonder if I would ever, in theory, need a, a paint upgrade. Probably not. I need your body for science. Or rather, to open up a gate. Now it's suddenly got... Overcast outside? That's kind of weird. I look all dark and dreary. Let me fix that. Oh, there. Let there be light. The Crimson Tower, huh? It's close enough walk, but scrap that. I've got superpowers now. Justice takes flight. That takes care of that. I'm going to go back to the world map. No need to walk all the way through the uh, whole thing again. I feel like if I had superpowers, that's what I would do. Just like some some sort of like chant or hymn or something. I don't know. Sun Glow Ridge, it's in yellow. There are no other keys to the kingdom that I can see. So, hey, we'll uh, see what happens here. Uh, this one is apparently from Chapter 2. So maybe this is... Oh, that's a, that's a big thing. Oh, hi. You! Welcome to the Scarlet Gate, Mario. Though it's not so scarlet anymore. Well, I feel like if I restore the world with red paint, that's going to be fixed. What am I supposed to call now? The Plain Gate? Just adding gate to another word seems kind of dumb. Yeah, totally. Yeah, but it's a big paint job. I don't even think my whole squad could get it done. My squad, I'm late. Toad number two, going to the rescue. dun da 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 I could probably paint all of this. Give me a little time. If I could jump high enough, I totally could, but all right. No, it clearly is designed that you can't do this on your own. So, yeah. I'm going to go back to Port Prisma and check out the uh, area now that the bridge is actually there. I believe he has fixed the blue district. I'm going to go say hi to him real quick because I feel like there's going to be the other purple Toad Brigade member that I actually need to find. So that's good. The bridge is there. Great. And I can probably 100% uh, the area. Nice. Cross it. Enjoy the work. Oh, yeah. There we go. That was definitely a bridge. We started over there, and now we're on this side. Uh, kind of at a loss here. It was really supportive. I don't even have feet, you know. Yeah. Wait a sec. I smell paint. Oh, yes. There's some paint up there. Lovely. Excellent. Oh, one of these definitely is the purple toad, because they are severely lacking in color for sure. Right? There's one red one. Oh, hi. Just enjoying a nice cup of joe. Last thing I remember was a toad over there blathering on about something in this newspaper. Well, let's see what it actually is. What do you got? Oh, thank goodness they didn't drain the ink from my newspaper. 
You ever read the Prisma Times? No. Why would I read the news in a newspaper? That uh, that seems like it is old old news right there, man. Absolutely not. You want to sell me an overpriced coffee real quick? Let me offer you a drink. It's the least I can do for saving my life. I'll just grab you a uh, large iced coffee, a straw. I'm sorry. I can't stop thinking about that horrible customer who drained all the color. Oh, no. He's very reminiscent of the the, the thing, of the, the, the straw. Yep. I would be triggered by that, too. Don't worry. You can, you can, you're totally fine, man. It is all good. Hey, man. So glad that the bridge is fixed. Of course, the bridge is out. Maybe none piled up. Either way, you better come check it out for yourself, Mario. I can say without bias or hyperbole that mail is the most important thing in the world. Well, I, I think you are biased because you're the mailman. Mailman, what do you have for me? Looks like the post office took a little damage. See the sign? It's crooked. Oh, okay. That uh, That's probably a story thing I got to do. Any mail for me, man? Great timing, you got new mail. Yo, Mario, action toad here. Oh, with the fire flower action command, thank you. Ooh, another letter, exciting. Hello, Mario, it's the uh, owner of the Ruddy Road Cafe. Got a lot of free time on my hands because absolutely no customers are coming as usual. Come and hang out sometime, okay? Your best friend, Barista Toad. Oh boy. Luigi, hey, ya big bro, it's a me, Luigi. You know, your brother, Luigi, with a green hat. Have you tried visiting the Ringer yet? He just opened a shop in the Port Prisma Harbor District. Ooh, I can spend some coins there. Nice. And uh, you ever tried an explanation on your card thing? You know, I'm all set with that. I'm all I'm all good. Thank you, Luigi, for the uh, the help there. Crooked sign? That's a terrible sign. I can't have people thinking this is a crooked business. I'll send myself to fix it right away. Priority mail, Toad. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, so he's going to uh, fix it, apparently. I feel like we're going to need uh, to help him. Oh, we did fix it. Oh, okay, cool. Nothing can stop the mail now. Well, maybe drag it on. But the point is that we're back on the straight and narrow, which is good. Very good. Uh, I feel like I can cross that. Yeah, I can. Look at that. Time to do some tracing. Everyone's favorite part of Paper Mario. Yeah, there we go. It's doing it's doing that thing there. Yep. A whole lot of, whole lot of that. It's still very trippy. That this is a whole big thing. You're just looking at a screen, but yeah. All right. Oops, that was my phone. Hey, I have a, a paint star now. We're on the roof. Yeah. Cool. Oh, and there's the toad. No, it's not. Got my full color back. Um, are you the... the? You're not one of the rescue toad, right? I don't think so. All right. You're the strong-looking fellow with the hammer. There you are. No, you're not. Seems as though you've seen a battle or two, which means you must have a battle card or two. Please forgive the intrusion, but may I take a look at them? No. Oh, come on. I just want to look at them and touch them all. I must insist. All right. Are you a bad guy? You handed over all your cards, and you're going to steal them, right? Oh, yes. Exquisite. You serve the finest collection of battle cards I've ever laid my stubby fingers on, bar none. Uh, were you thinking about giving them back? Uh, we could be attacked at any moment. Yep. Just like that up there. And thanks, man. Yep. Isn't that just grand? Sir? Can I have any of my cards? At all? Oh, so we can actually run. Okay. Battle... Oh, battle spin. That's a thing. Okay. So this is a uh, tutorial situation here. Uh, it shows on the bottom screen here that battle spin is a thing. So basically, you spend 10 coins. You can use it once per round here. And, uh, okay, so he'll throw in 10 coins. That way we do it for free. So we'll do that. And Battle Spin will basically give us an assortment of cards. Uh, you can't really see here. Hold on. Yeah, I know. Come on. Come on. There we go. So it's going to say, like, tap to stop right down here. So I'm going to tap right there, and I have a boot, a hammer. Never mind. I can't see things properly. All right. So I, I want to bet that I will never like ever run out of cards that should not be an issue if it is an issue then i'm probably playing the game wrong but yeah cool little uh tutorial section there nice can i have my cards back buddy i just got <laughs> absolutely mauled by a, a a shy guy with a straw thanks man i'll take my leave of you now thank you for sharing your wondrous battle cards with me 
Want an odd toad? Whatever. All's well that ends well. Yeah. Cool. I'll take that many paint star. That's a sweet deal by me, but we still have to have a, uh, a purple toad to talk to. Uh, he might be in the warp pipe, actually, right next door, because I feel like this unlocks the pathway to where I need to go. So that's cool. So I don't know if I was supposed to do that first or whatever. And then go to the, the bay area, but whatever. I guess I'll take my look down here. I think I remember there being a... Uh... Oh, there's that thing. Cool. All right. So that's Rochambeau. I do remember that. Basically, uh, rock, paper, scissors. So I could go and play that right now. Do I want to play that right now? Uh, not really. I'm going to go with that. And then I'm going to try the uh, Rochambeau temple afterward. So here's a new underground area. The Indigo Underground. Cool. All right. As always in a Mario game, there's always an underground section. Because why not, right? So I will uh, do that. We'll see what uh, actually comes of it here. As it is in a, yeah, every single Mario game basically to ever exist ever. Uh-oh. It's clogged. You, sir. Sir. You need to get out of the warp pipe. Buddy. Come on. Are you stuck? Hey, cut it out. Don't pull so hard you're going to tear my legs off. Can you find another way to get me out of here with some sort of suction device or something? I don't care what you have to do. Just unclog this stupid pipe. You need a plunger? Do we have to find a plunger for him? Oh, hello, buddy. What's going on? I was hoping you'd stop by. I'm the commander-in-chief of the rescue squad. Okay, I'm the leader of the coalition. It's my job to keep the tabs on each squad. Let me know if you need help with any of the rescue members. Yeah, where's the um, purple one? Yeah, we're still missing one of them. Yeah, I know. Okay, dismiss. You you literally tell me nothing. Cool, thanks, buddy. I thought you'd be of a little more assistance with that, but clearly you're not. So cool. Oh. Since you're new here, your first squeeze is on us. Now don't worry about the ringer. It'll be just fine. See, once you get your first squeeze, you never want to let go. You're hooked. That's how I turn a profit. Enough talk. Let's get squeezing. Oh, it's an it's a specialty item, so I can use that item, and and use that on the, on the thing, on the toad. Yep, there we go. All right, so there's that. Uh, but that's actually, Ozzy, well, I haven't done this before. Now we're a uh, stranger. Come on, come back anytime you need a squeeze, a little squeeze. I'm gonna go to the ch not the cherry like the blue bay. Where there's the blue toad who set sail. Uh, that's who I need to talk to next. Oh, hi. Hey, Mario, that ship set sail from the dock got shipwrecked. Uh-oh. That's not good. The blue toad who was going to set sail? Let's go check it out, man. I didn't think he would be shipwrecked. Oh, he's actually super shipwrecked. Okay. That's not great. Uh, man, you're not very good at this. <laughs> He made such a big show setting off, and then he went and wrecked his ship first thing. I'm going to the edge of the world. Bah, ha, ha. This ain't even the edge of Blue Bay Beach. Blue Bay Beach. Not Blue Bay Bleach. You know, it's just a it's a tongue twister is what it is here, man. Hey, man. How you feeling? How the kids? Going good? All right, cool. Yeah, we do the little cutout thing over there. So, yes, it's a pretty standard ordeal. Now, is this a... I don't think this is a me going over there sort of thing. Uh, it's a... Uh, you're using the cutout. Great. Let me uh, tell you a bit about how this works. I remember the thing. Yeah. Oh, we got to choose the right card there. Oh, okay. So the right card we need, it gives you a little selection menu down here. Yeah. Uh, the card we need this time is the fan. Okay. It's going to get popped right in there. Paint all that. That does not use up much paint at all. So that's what we need to push him back to shore. Da, da, da. Bum, 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 That's like the new... Bum, bum, bum. I forget what the name of the tune is, but like the Avengers theme, I think of as like the the big epic moment there. 
There you go. Oh, he's surfing. I have used the Force. I have become a master of the Jedi arts in just a short time. Hey, that was pretty cool. That's it, I found my destiny. I'm the greatest surfer in history. Uh, you wanna, you wanna just pop your body into the, uh, uh-oh. Just chilling. Hey, the wave is frozen. Yay. Can you take your whole body and, and become the key, please? Check out the shape of your noggin. Say, come to think of it, there's a crimson tower thing. You want to pop yourself into there, man? Wait, I'm confused. Should I stick to surfing or not? No. Yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, if you can't swim and you like to surf, that's a that's a massive problem. I'd like to meet the person who loves to surf but can't swim. I I don't think that person exists. There he goes. Off into the sunset, he goes. So there's that. Cool. So now that I have the ringer, I can go down to the uh, underground and do that. I don't feel like doing that right now, though. I've done a lot of running around. I've done a lot of stuff. So I'm going to save that for the next episode. I'm going to do the, the Rochambeau Temple. And it is rock, paper, scissors. It's just called Rochambeau in this game. I don't know why it's called Rochambeau. I think I remember seeing one time a long time ago why it was called Rochambeau. But I forget. You get one crack at it per time in the temple or every couple of levels or so. So, uh, don't mess up. Welcome to the Rochambeau Temple. This is where the legends are made. Cool. Whatever that means, I'm going to head right on up here. Very epic looking area for sure. About to start the tournament of Rochambeau Temple number one. Here we go. I'm going to try to outwit the computer here. How successful am I going to be? Who knows? I believe it's best of three. So we'll see here. Uh, not many. Oh, there are people in the stands. All right, cool. So we just got to select one and hope for the best, right? Since the dawn of time, warriors have gathered here to do battle, journeying from distant lands for a short eternal glory. One must make their own luck to overcome the odds. This is the art of Rochambeau. 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 Yeah. All righty. Well, hello. And with that, the competitors will take the stage. This corner, the rookie hailing from the Mushroom Kingdom, Mr. Ma -ma 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 Mia himself. Wario in the building. Bowser's timeless small fry, Zigumba. Hey, who are we rooting for, ladies and gentlemen? I'm going to say, uh, Rochambeau in it. Going to go with uh, this. So we literally just pick one of the three cards down here. One of the three and hope for the best. Since you are made of paper, I'm going to go with uh, scissors, and we'll see how it goes. And if it's a tie, I'll try again. Bo. Ooh, he got me. Goomba won that one. Is it... It's just one? Did I lose immediately? Tough break. You'll get him next time. I mean, I didn't want to play anyways. All right, never mind. I don't play your stupid game. All right, game is for dummies. What are you doing in here? Look, I could seek you into the tournament, but it'll cost you 100 coins. Fam, let's go. I want my redemption. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I, I can sneak you in for 100 coins, kid. You want to get back in here? Yeah, I do. Here we go. They don't even pay any mind to being me. So he did um, rock before. Let's see if the computer is smart. Let's see. I'm going to waste all my coins to see how far I can go. I'm going to go paper on this one. So it's called Rochambeau, but they call each of the cards rock, paper, scissors. So here we go. Row. You row. Row your boat gently down the stream. It's rigged. Okay, cool. So you can get farther and farther every single time. So I used paper. So 300. Not bad. So I used paper. Which means uh, I should use scissors or rock. I'm going to try rock this time. 
and hope that I can outwit the shy guy. Trying some 4D chess right here. All right. Try this again. All right. Let's go uh, rock on it. All right. Here we well, here we go. See if this works. 4D chess, yay or nay? Let's see. Ooh, it's a tie. Ooh, a tie. Pretty even match here. Challenge us back to your marks. Round two. Here we go. So you, you, you want to, like, outsmart, you know, big time here. So rock, then shy guy would use paper, so I should use scissors. You see kind of the, the line of thinking here? Let's see if we can outsmart. If, if the computer's on the same page that I'm at, maybe. 5D chess? No, no 5D chess. Okay, never mind. I I messed up. Okay. Well, do I want to do it? I'm going to try. Uh, should I try one more time? Ah. Uh, you know, we get some coins out of it. I don't know if you actually get anything else from it. And I don't know if you can actually get back into the tournament after this is all done. So we'll see. Uh try this one more time here yeah and uh hopefully we don't have to re uh, acquaint ourselves with the goomba again but yeah he did rock the first time too so it, we probably just have to do bape the uh, uh, vapor paper do paper and we'll see oh okay cool so you did rock before so paper okay so i'm using paper twice in a row unless it's different there's maybe a guide online. I can just look at all the answers. Okay. There's one done. Excellent. And that's an easy 300 coins right there, right? Wow. So you could literally just re-enter every single time and gain 200 coins. That's pretty incredible. All right. So you did rock the first time. I'm going to bank on you doing rock again. All right. This has by far been the most interesting part of this episode so far. I'm excited. Here we go. Rock. Right? Sham. Don't be a sham. Wow. Okay. Maybe. Uh, so he's going to do scissors. I should do rock. Because he's not playing 4D chess. All right. Here we go. You're very predictable, Mr. Shy Guy. Row your boat. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. And then the prize there is 500. Wow. 2,028. That's just eight years away. What a time that will be. <clears throat> so now this one, it's really up to luck, I feel like. The final round here. Okay. The Green Shelled Shocker. So we might actually win this Rochambeau tournament in general. All right. So uh, it was... It was rock before. I used pay. I, there's no. There's really no way of telling, right? There's no way. Uh, I'm gonna go with scissors, just because I feel like scissors were not used before. Uh, by me, at least. Sham, bow. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, there we go. No easy button there, because unfortunately I did lose twice. I lost to the Goomba and the Shy Guy, so oops. Victory, there we go. You're the tournament champion. You'll be going home with a fat sack of coins and a brand new card. The Plunger Replica. Oh, and a thousand coins. Now, the year 3038 is pretty far away at this point. Uh, I remember, folks, you, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Closing time. Every new beginning comes from some other... That's a very inspirational quote, by the way. Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. What a, what a sad quote if you're going through a breakup or something. Man, that's a tough one. So yeah, the tournament's done. Uh, you won the temple number one. Congratulations. Excellent. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can get back in here, so you might as well just keep trying and get all three here. Hey, man, are you a shop or something? Um... A Prisma Juice or a Hardy Latte? Nah, I'm good, man. I'm a, I'm a Duncan kind of a guy. So I'm going to go to the next area because I obviously have the Plunger replica now. 
Gonna go to the world map and then we'll be on our way to the Crimson Tower in Paper Mario Color Splash on the Nintendo Wii U. I'll see you again next time for more. And the temple's closed. All right, see you again next time. Bye.